Two doctors from the University of Minnesota are recommending that high schools end their football programs over concussion concerns. Dr. Stephen Miles and Dr. Shailandra Prasad say 5 to 20 percent of students experience at least one concussion per season. They say the brains of children are more likely to have long-term damage from concussions than adults. Their research will be published in the American Journal of Bioethics. And Rachel, this is nothing new hearing about the danger of concussions, but this is a bold statement coming out and saying we mm -hmm. need to end these programs in high schools. It just doesn't sound like something that's even possible. Right. I can't see it happening to eliminate football from high school when high school football feeds into college football, which feeds into the NFL. But I do think you do have to make that bold statement to get people to pay attention. Esme, you have two teams, yes. both in high impact sports, I believe hockey. Yes, yes, and I've got a teenage boy. I actually think that high school football is on the decline. Do you? The numbers are dropping, and I think it's very, very significant. And if they continue to drop the way they are, I think high school football programs could be in trouble. I think maybe in Minnesota, but if you look at the entire United States, especially in the South, it, eliminating football would be like eliminating hockey in Minnesota. I just can't see it happening across the board. You I, I wonder if you're going to have, I mean, you need a lot of players to field a football team, and that's the challenge, right? So in a public school, we've seen it already, you know, you'll see a number of schools that will team up. And I wonder if that's going to be the wave of mm -hmm. the future, that individual schools, I, th I think, may have a hard time fielding a team because parents like me, I have a 10 and 8 year old, and if they wanted to play football, it'd be a tough pill to swallow the for me to let them do it. The question is how many of your 10 year old's friends are playing football? Yeah, it's not, um, way more of them are playing soccer, right. and there are also so many other sports now. They're doing fencing, they're doing, gymna they're doing gymnastics, they're playing basketball, all of this stuff. Yeah. You do need to make, I think, these bold statements in order to make any little change. So while it doesn't seem realistic at all that we'll actually end these high school football programs, maybe this will take have people take a different look at it. You know, we've been kind of talking about the changes that we can do, different helmets, different formats yeah. of play. Will this make that big of an impact? I don't know. I don't know. We're teaching kids how to hit differently. Interesting point, though. These are public Michael. schools. Yeah. Public schools, are we okay with schools that we as a society, yeah. I mean, you have to look at football, maybe you have to look at other sports, too. Are we putting our kids in jeopardy well, in the a, name of, of public schools? You have a contact sport. There's going to be contact. Yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. That risk yeah. is always going to be But you don't need it. It's a school. Teach them math. You could get rid of all of this. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. Think that's going to happen. But <laughs> yeah, get rid of all sports. I, I think <laughs> if that's the road you go down, you have to look at other sports that have high concussion risks too. Mm -hmm. It's not just football. Absolutely, soccer. It's an right easy. Ahead. Yeah.